Hey guys, so I'm excited like always because I am finally getting all my reptile tanks organized. Um, we went to Home Depot the other day and bought a shelving system. So this is a shelving system. Uh, we basically set it up in the bedroom and we're able to put all of the reptiles um, into the shelving system which I am excited about because they were just scattered throughout the entire house and now they're all in one location and it's going to make feeding easier. So here is the process of us putting everything in. This was actually round two. Um, the first one we got was a 36 by 18 and we thought it'd be a nice snug fit for Sterling's tank since that's the size of his tank, but we did not account for the lid. I say we, but it was me. I didn't account for the lid. So we went and we upgraded and we got a 48 by 24 and everything fits on there and I have room for more tanks. So if I go to a reptile show and decide to pick something up, it can fit on there because I've been looking at a gargoyle gecko. So we'll see. But anyways, here's that process. I got these washers to go under the corners of the tank so that the heat from the heat pad could escape. I got these LED lights for the snake tanks to save room and so that the snakes can differentiate between night and day. I got the aquarium ones so that way when we mist down the tanks it won't affect the lights at all. And this is the final product. I forgot to film putting Dexter's tank on there just because I did that the next morning, but this is how it all turned out. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed just watching us put tanks on a shelf. Um, Percy's tank is actually no longer there. Uh, she's been moved back to the living room because I am working on a bioactive setup for her. So she is in an old tank, it's still a 20 gallon long, but her tank is on the shelving system right now, but it is being set up bioactive. So there's a lot of steps to that and I'm using excavator clay so you gotta wait for that to dry. But that will be in an upcoming video. Um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed as always and thank you so much for watching. Bye!